Hi, so I'm Craig from Godbit Ambulance Service, um, and thanks for Mark for coming to chat to us about the snakes today. Um, we just would like to know this is a public awareness thing, so what should a member of the public do if they come across a snake? Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Marshall. I'm a snake expert here in Port Elizabeth. Part of my job is actually doing house call-outs to go and save snakes from people's houses, or more like to save the people from the snakes. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that when you see a snake in your house or in your garden, it's not the end of the world. A lot of people think that the snake is going to attack them, it's dangerous, venomous, it's going to kill their dogs, etc. So the main thing what they should do is actually just take a photo of the snake to find out exactly what it is first. Once we find out what it is, then we know exactly, okay, it's a harmless snake, and they know how to basically remove it with bright tongs or physically themselves. Or if it's a venomous snake, they know what to actually do. Obviously, keep dogs away, etc. But the main thing is to not panic. I know it's hard to say not panic, but the best thing to do is just stay calm, recognize the snake. If you don't have an, the ability to take a photo of the snake, just take awareness of the snake. In other words, is it green? Is it black and white? Is it banded? The snakes, mainly the problem snakes in Port Elizabeth, are puff adders, cape cobras, night adders, bronchals, and worm slung. Those are the only dangerous snakes in Port Elizabeth. If you know those five dangerous snakes, then all the other snakes are relatively harmless and they're not life-threatening to us. For example, this little snake is a Western Natal green snake. It's completely harmless. But I get about 10 calls a day where people are actually telling me that they've got a wormslung or a green mamba in their house. And I ask them, what color is it? And they say, it's pure green. And I say, well, for example, we don't get green mambas here. Secondly, our wormslung aren't pure green. They are green, and they have 80% black colorations on their bodies too. So a pure green snake is a Natal green snake. And these guys are often feared and killed just because they are mistaken for a venomous um, boom slung. Okay, so as, as an ambulance service in the Eastern Cape, we do have large rural areas that we cover. Um, we do get calls to snake bites, I wouldn't say very often, but sometimes. Yeah. Um, how often in your experience is it that these snake bites are lethal? Yeah, a lot of people do get bitten. Obviously, a lot of the bites are harmless snakes, but sure. some of the venomous snakes which um, bite people, obviously, cobras, puffettas, boom slung, etc. In most cases, the snake, the snake bite is actually not deadly on the site. Everyone thinks you get bitten by a puff head on the foot, you're going to die instantly and yeah. you have to get to the hospital immediately within minutes. That is wrong. If it's in the muscle, it's going to take quite a while before the venom starts circling, circling to your body mm -hmm. and you actually can get to hospital in time. So there's no real panic with it. A Wimsung's venom takes a long time to react. Sometimes up okay. to 8 to 12, 15 hours for wow. a reaction to actually happen. And you've got plenty of time to get to hospital. Sure. Just as long as you know what snake bit you, that is the most important thing. And Cape Cobras are the danger ones. Cape Cobras yeah. is a fast-acting neurotoxin venom. Okay. And when that happens, obviously you rush to hospital immediately. We do get phone for medical advice on what yes. to do with snake bites. Yes. There are a lot of fallacies regarding this yeah. whole story. Can you tell us some more about that? Well, it stems from the old movies where people get bitten by a snake and they take a knife and they cut oh, the wind open and they suck the poison out. That's never going to work. The yeah. venom is already in your body. It's already circulating in tissues. Sure. What you can do is wipe the wound, yes, in case okay. there's any venom on the outside, and don't suck the poison out. Rather, just clean it off and sit there, tell the patient to be very, very calm. Calmness is yes. the main thing. You don't want the blood to circulate fast and you don't want the, the venom to circulate So you're going to keep your heart rate so, yeah, down. No sucking blood out. No, no ice, no alcohol, and not smoking on the way to hospital. Okay, good to know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Mark. <laughs>